Hey, what's up, YouTube? One thing I want to discuss with you guys today is good parenting. Now, if you're a new person to my channel, you probably haven't seen this video, but I've already done a video about good parenting. A link to that video will be in the description below. And I personally think you guys will enjoy it. Now, recently, I saw this about two or three days ago. And for the sake of keeping the video short, I will leave a link to the article and everything that I discussed in the description below for you to read. Now, to sum up the story, the child was acting out of line, and his father took him to a barber shop, and they gave him this haircut called the Benjamin Button. And long story short, the whole point and message behind the haircut was that the child was acting out to the father and then the father took him into the barbershop and you know pretty much said if you want to be like a grown-up then you might as well look like a grown-up then everybody just got mad and they was like oh yeah that's really good parenting you're gonna scar him for life a haircut's not gonna scar him for life a lot of people out here even myself included have had bad haircuts worse than that he was faded up he was cleaned up but he still had an old person's haircut. I remember one time when I was little and I got my father's clippers and I made a part in my head. Then I just went overboard and I was like, oh yeah. And I was writing zigzags and stuff. I was trying to write numbers and stuff in the sides of my head. Long story short, I messed up terribly and I had to go to school like that and there was nothing I could do about it. I got laughed at, man. I seen somebody else's video about this and they commented in the comment section. They was like, if you whip your child, then you're a bad parent. Like, please tell me what sense does that make? So you think just putting your child in time out and just having them face a wall is really gonna change his life? What what child do you know says, oh man, yeah, just looking at them white walls just changed my life forever. I'll even go out on a limb and say, that Tommy and Jimmy, we're gonna take your belongings stuff doesn't work. Like, how do we live in a society now where people are like so scared and guilty whenever they discipline their child? Now me, I'm not a parent, nor do I plan on being one anytime soon. But when I am a parent, I am not gonna care what anybody thinks about how I discipline my child. You're even more worse of a parent if you're letting other people control how you discipline your child. Low key, that's also them raising your child as well. Dead serious, how many people out there changed their entire actions and ways of life around as a child because they've stared at a wall? Then on top of that, we live in a world where people let their children be babysitted by electronics. Like I be seeing three, four year old kids out here with iPads. When I was little, I didn't have nothing. At the same time, I'm happy because that has helped me be more grateful for things that I earn and receive in life. But my point is people are slowly going away from disciplining their children themselves and they're letting other people be the dictators of how they discipline their children. That is the million dollar question what I want to ask these people. How do you plan on disciplining your child then? Because every time people put these comments, they never put how they would do the situation. They always say, if you do this, you're bad. I want to hear you guys' feedback, so post your comments in the comment section below. I will be discussing with you guys. And tell me, how do you plan on disciplining your child? If you're one of those people who think that if you do any of those things that have been listed from whoopings, getting that haircut, etc., it's a bad thing. Let me know. If you're new though, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also follow our brother on Twitter, Facebook, and all them beautiful things in the links in the description below. Until then, I'll see everybody later and I hope everyone has a nice day.